All right, YouTube, it's me, your man, Uncle Dennis from SoccerNumber10.com. And in this video, I will be talking with you about several things that will let you see soccer totally different and some techniques that you can use in your next soccer game. For example, on the weekends or in your indoor soccer or on your within your tryouts or so forth. It doesn't matter wherever you play. I just want you to test some of these techniques out. As you all know already, I've been doing this for over 28 years now. From I was practically 14, I started research in soccer. So I hope and trust that many of my crazy shenanigans just amazes you and allow you to see soccer totally different and play better. And most of all, to help me to shut up some of those competition that you might have and some of those guys who just don't really like a guy like me talking and giving out the secrets. Okay, what I have in my hand right now is a special report. This special report date back till to when I was actually 14. All the the little jottings and secrets that I've actually written down during my little notebooks and when I used to practice outside hours and you know hours upon hours and some trials and errors and some of the things that I've actually implemented with these games and I found out that they they, they gave tremendous results. In some of these with some of these tips, sorry, um, what will happen is you will see some some things that you might have overlooked and some things that you might have not noticed within your soccer games. Okay, I had entitled this uh, the secret soccer uh, sorry, soccer secret trick special report I know it's kind of crazy with the skull on it that was the first Photoshop thing that I actually learned so what happened is, is this is really old again this dates back to roughly 1980s in the 1980s my friends okay with all that said and done I want to give you a few of the highly effective tricks at the beginning of the special report it talks about uh, soccer trick and anxieties, how soccer players somehow defeat themselves by trying to do too much with their tricks and they fail because their mind and their mind is not working in sync with their body. And it's not like dualism where mind and body must work together. However, um, what happened is some soccer players, they tend to gravitate to us trying to do the tricks that they see on YouTube and then what happened is when they are in the moment of performing or execution of this trick they fail bitterly because the timing is off their their whole preparation for execution is totally wrong and as a result of this they tend to uh, let me close this phone before it goes off sorry to interrupt you okay so many tricks are not executed properly players somehow don't time their opponents well and most of these things will be discussed in a few uh, systems that I've already um, issued and put into as packages and they're on the internet. Okay, with all that said and done, I, these are some of the tricks that I have noticed that will give you high results whenever you implement them within your soccer games. First of all, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are actually six tricks that will guarantee you tricking abilities to trick your opponent no matter how you execute them why you execute them but just by implementing them within your game you'll trick your opponents all right the six tricks that that sound funny six soccer tricks that will blow your opponents away and your competition away okay first of all one dragging the soccer ball for example you drag it with your foot you know you pull it to the left or the right but you need to drag it and faint into the direction where you're dragging it Okay, I know we need a, a actual video to do this because some players are not physic some players are not mentally sound in their soccer execution because they can't see these tricks in their minds. For those who are on this level, of this advanced level of being able to see the tricks or execution of these tricks in their minds, welcome. Okay, dragging the ball to the left or right, meaning that you're just dragging the ball on the ground. You notice you you could stand up perpendicular over the ball as you jump and what happens is you put let's say your right foot the ball is touching your right foot on the inside and you push the ball forward you're dragging it like you're going into one direction the reason why the drag is so effective it's because it sells an illusion that you're moving definitely in this direction I've used this trick to trick very smart defenders I've actually 
cause them to wonder, how did I pull this off? But don't worry, dragging the ball via, via instep, outer side of your foot, going to the left or going to the right. Dragging the ball or pushing the ball slowly and gently on the ground will give a mental illusion that will trick your opponent. Most of these things were discussed in soccer num in the soccer number 10 blueprint book and in the soccer number 10 training program where we made mention on the topic of vision awareness. How you're, you, you view the ball as you're moving and how your opponents, our smart defenders, sees you as you are moving with the ball and how you can distort their interpretations of these movements. And most of this is disclosed in the Doctrine of Time, another system that's totally was downloaded over 3 million times when I had that video up on YouTube. I deleted it and it's off the market. Okay, the next tip is jump over the ball. Basically jumping over the ball is like doing footworks. You jump like you jump to the side, but you don't leave the ball too far from a foot where you can actually make contact with the ball. Jumping or leaning to the left, jump to the left or jump to the right. A simple little jump fake. These are a basic soccer trick that will blow your opponent or somehow trick them. But sometimes you're faint, meaning you how you slant this way or how you slant this way. It's it must be it must look realistic. Smart defenders know if you fake one way, you're going to the opposite. But you know, based on not being sure or shorty, defenders tend to just say, you know what, he's going that way, and then to just want to make sure they sweep you up, <laughs> sweep you off your feet, so to speak. This is very effective. Okay, one thing that I've noticed that I've always used in many of my games, and it has tricked defenders, no matter how smart they are, it's like looking into the wrong direction. It's like, look, I'm looking over there, but I'm acting as if I'm passing the ball. Look at my facial gesture, right? It looks, if the defender is facing me, right what will happen is he will try to turn around to see who's behind or look to the side to see who is there and what happens is it sells this illusion you look to the side or go and then he wants to see who's behind him and you can also call go john go left go right and he will to make it even realistic and he will look to that side to make sure that john is not over there and this is this will always catch them no matter how smart they are you just look over there and then make it look real try it in your next game and you will see how phenomenal it is and it will blow you away if you are in a position where you're going through the midfield and the defender is standing there looking at you what you need to do is look to the left look and act and then he will somehow once he looks around it's your time to make the break to the right or get past him and take a shot this works in the 18 yard box this works in the 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 uh the semicircle near the half line where you trick the first line of defense the midfielders and you can open up on the flank and attack on the flank okay this last one that i will give you quick because i don't want this video to go get too long it's calling for help you know, uh, it's, 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 it's so funny that with one of my game, it was like a championship game, basically, where I was just acting like crazy. I was like, somebody help me. Act like I didn't know what I'm doing. Give me a play. Give me a play. And I was actually saying it. Can somebody give me a play? Help, help, help. So what happens is when you need help, you appear to be weak, like you don't know what you're doing. You're a rookie and you're selling this deception. Remember. Remember this, if you don't remember anything out of this video, remember, soccer is a game of deception. And if you can trick your opponents, you can blow them out of the water, pass them, take a shot at goal, and you can do anything you want. It's not just doing the tricks, footworks and all these things that get past, past opponents. You can get past them with any mental trick or let them trick themselves, as we disclose in the Doctrine of Time. The, the ultimate soccer internal tricking system. Okay, to cut this video short, we have just covered dragging the soccer ball, jumping to the left or the right, looking into the wrong direction, call for help, meaning act vulnerable. I will try to cut this video short because of YouTube. Uh, you can change your pace, act like you are taking a shot, 
this one is very effective act like you're taking a shot i need more time to elaborate on it i hope and trust you watch part two of this video by clicking the link below thank you very much my name is dennis lee i hope and trust these tips techniques sorry help you